Guys, welcome to the episode three of Let's Play Tale of Immortal. And previously, we have become the true disciple of the Qingman sect, and now we're just looking for our master. And on the way, we find this stone array, which will illu illustrate a big range. And we found this thing as well. So we definitely want to go to check out this treasure. And uh, yeah, it's usually have something really good, but you want to keep yourself a bit more healthy because you have to deal with three elite monsters at the same time. So let's put some more pills and prepare and try to get into this small dungeon. Treasure dungeon. So you can see there is a little icon on the top right, the map there, and that icon is the treasure room. So we need to go to the treasure room here before we finish this dungeon, let's remember that. And now, I was a bit too late. I cut my little flower over there, but this <laughs> toad already jumped around me and stunned me or something. Good thing I used my motion skill to dodge a lot of damage, so that's there. And yeah, now we need to go to the treasure room. So three of all of them at the same time. We use our special skill there and try to dodge these two rocket people. And use motion skill when you need to. And yeah, like this. You have to run faster. If you need to run faster, do not attack. Remember that. If you find out you cannot dodge some of their attacks, just stop attacking and directly run. And now with the two stone men gone, so it's much easier to deal with this one guy because his attack is very easy to dodge. Once you're done with press E, we get a lot of things. And yeah, most of the things in this dungeon are actually just uh, not this one, but the others. I think mostly are this soul stones and stuff, which is for upgrading your skills. Anyway, talking about that, let's go to check out the signpost. So, Xi Jia Tang. Okay, that's where our master is. It's over there. And, right. Let's try to go to that town to meet our master. Continue, continue, continue. So, we find one of the special locations here, and you can see that it's not really appear on the mini map. Sometimes, even though you know it's there, it not, does not appear on the mini map. It appears. Okay, so this is our master, Ru Qi Meng. And yeah, Master, I've missed you. How have you been? <laughs> and we want to learn some skill from you. So now we already have a foundation leveled spiritual skill. So we might actually learn this move. So move is the attack mind skill, which is very important. But I can also learn this special skill or this ultimate. So Dragon Flower is definitely a very powerful ultimate. I want to use it, but the precondition is to kill enemy by the poison, which I don't think that we that easy to achieve at this point. So maybe special skill, it does do quite a lot of damage compared to my 137 for our now, and this one is 226. But it also costs more energy, so I cannot decide by now. Because I really want to improve my attack, so I think probably I will just learn a move. Anyway, let me submit some missions since we got some stuff from the previous treasure dungeon so yeah that's pretty happy venom sack we don't have enough okay so i have decided i'm going to learn the move this one is good but i think just purely attack is better we will learn the foundation level move yep that is good from our master she agrees and yeah yeah so you see that it does cost quite some time as well. It still costs that much time. And you can now equip this mind skill. Notice that you can click on it or drag it, doesn't matter in this case. And also notice that it costs some skill point. So our skill point now shows 9 slash 12. So this mind skill costs 9 skill points. And 12 is our maximum one. But we can convert our knowledge, extra knowledge, into plus two skill points right now. So that's why now it becomes nine slash fourteen. This is why you want to debate or stuff, you know, with NPCs a lot, increase your knowledge because skill point is a very, very useful resource. Anyways, now we have learned our new thing. We can put our wooden chief from that evergreen in the last episode back into our vault. 
and Jade Dragon Frost. Oh, I just got two of the same thing. Ah, that's a pity. I might just sell it. Think about it. Sell those pills. We don't need them. So, um, or I could take it back and then sell it at auction. Maybe that's a better idea. Mm, yeah, if I sell it now, it's 400 spirit stones. I guess I can get more at auction. You just need to wait a bit of a longer time, that's all. But that's okay. We sell all the things that we don't need. And now, we can think about what's the next step. So, right. We should always buy another Psychic Charm and reveal the special locations around us. So, let's use it. We can already see one of them just here. Okay, that's Arctic Field, that's Blazing Land. There's also Land of Spirit and Land of Arcane. So now we already see two Land of Spirits. And we can also check where are they here. So if we put the mouse here, it shows that this is coming from Land of Spirit, Xijia Tang, and the Jingyue sect. So you know where are them. So Xijia Tang is around here, and the Yudong City is around here. And we know that the Jingyue sect is probably on the top, because that's part where there's another sect is. So yeah, judging, if you remember in the previous episode, we already knew where are they sect from our sect uh, council home. And one month passed, another evergreen appears. That's yeah, a pity. That's a problem. The game does not generate always like different type of beasts for different cheese. It's very common to happen like this evergreen appears again and again. And if you want orange level or the cheese, you just can't get it. And now, but with our this, I might want to upgrade our this mind skill. So let's cultivate a bit more. So one, two. So one entire month only um, uh, unlocked two sub skills. But that's okay. We just need to skip the month again because it just takes time to learn skills. That's how the game works. You know, you, you might find it boring, but it is what it is. Oh, you want to give me some pills? That's very selfless act. Thank you. And okay, another month has passed. We, hey, oh, hey, hey, look at this teleportation. So the bounty board have informed us that how the culprit now is in a different town, and we can directly track them down to Jingfeng Town. And this is the town in Huafeng region that is way more overpowered than us. So, wow, look at those so formation. Look at all these level 4, level 5 cultivators. That is looks so scary. If only we can know some of them and ask them to be our masters. And but we are just little chi refining cultivator. I don't think they will take us. You know, they are too too big a gap. Anyways, does not really hurt to check out those people, those big scary cultivators. This guy, mm, he is romantic and caring can be a nice material for master and uh, yeah might consider it landian sect i have no idea because remember our sect rule it cannot become family with other hostel sect this guy woman is heaven chosen no ah landian sect but still doesn't hurt to talk right let's do a small talk she he likes that a little bit more that's good and let's see what other things so basically, if we buy those charms, it will be very good gift for those people, but they are so expensive. Look at that, we only have 4,000 spirit stones. And maybe we should ask for information. How do I earn spirit stones? And, huh, someone else also asked the same question? No. Adventure. Well, that is far away, and it is a dangerous Huafeng region. I don't dare to go that far. Or yet. Mm, is there any other question I can ask? No, they are all very much above my level now. Anyway, okay. Let me just upgrade more of my skills. So it took another month to upgrade all four sub skills from my you know move and now we can also unlock more from our spiritual skills. The main reason I want to unlock this I want to get the skills cooled down because that is the most important sub skill. You know, I want to get the minus zero, you know, signal cooldown reduction. 
and also I want to comprehend this guy to orange level because orange is the maximum I can go because the whole skill is orange, right? G4 come. Oh, oh. Apparently, by upgrading it to foundation, now I do not have the comprehension sand. I remember my sister gave me a lot of comprehension sand. Yeah, right, G5. But that is only for chi refining. It's not for the foundation level. Damn, now I literally need to farm in laser. The comp no, I'm not going to do that. I don't think that is viable now. I will probably just... Mm, drink some wine, get prepared, and start farming stuff. So. Our goal right now is go to the land of spirits because we want to, you know, break through and get orange materials. And we are going to start doing it now because we have the wine with us for three months and first do this and then we'll try to find the other two land of spirits. And uh, oh my god! Rongpu, you managed to find us. Our partner, after two episodes, finally managed to find us. And middle way, faithful, family oriented, chosen one, heavily gifted, full form. Uh, uh, not bad. You in bottleneck, chi refining early. Okay, okay, low cultivator. Oh god, what is this skill set? What is it? Fist plus ice, water. What is this water fist? And temperance, nah, that's a bad dull mind. Don't have much good breakthrough destinies neither. Ugh. But okay, you want my otherwise? Okay, I can give you some. Shadow chest is pretty good, and nothing else looks that good to be honest. Investable? Uh, no, no, definitely not. You are only allowed to be liked by me. This one. <laughs> What? What is this? Training together with other, I will give you an item? I don't want to give you an item. Maybe I will choose old and strong. Come on, this training partner is probably the worst thing you can get for an NPC lover. No, definitely not. Anyways, so where are you now? No, that's my master, I think. That's my sister. And you're still in Xindatang? Uh, uh. Please come to look for me faster. Anyways, let's start our farming. So, this kind of battle can be difficult, especially for such a long dungeon. If I'm lucky, I should get a dungeon which is much shorter, but yeah, it happens with long dungeons. The problem for long dungeons, because you might wear down a lot of HP and MP in the previous rooms, and you might cost too many pills, and they don't have enough pills to go to, to deal with the boss. But in our case, because we already have a, you know, foundation level move with high attack and we have drink the alcohol and we also have foundation level spiritual skill. So that's why you see that it seems to be very easy when they're dealing with all those mobs. And uh, yeah, this is because we have two over realm skills and that definitely helps a lot. But still, when they hit us, it will still be quite hurt. So we are trying to use our emotion skills and stuff you know, to avoid their attack. Why not the problem with this little turtle like allied is you can't really avoid its attack that much. Which can be a okay. pain. And let's just continue. We have to clear up five rooms. No, yeah, five rooms, that's a lot. But and also almost each room there is always one elite. The elite can be really a pain if you are not prepared and if you cannot deal with them fast enough like me right now I have pretty high attack they can do more damage to you you have to use a lot of pills okay this tree i don't like this tree ah look at this i was blocked by that ice thing on the ground again this is a really really bad run now i have to use pills two times i think one time mm. Nah, I'm going to save the pill a bit. But yeah, that was really, really bad mistake. I should not really lost so much HP just because of some tree elite. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Okay, this one. This team monster is much easier to deal with, but it can do a lot of damage to your little summon. So if you step inside that poison pool, it's very, very dangerous. But as long as you do not step inside, there's no harm it that it can do to you. By the way, I usually wait till this thing disappears so I can collect everything because it does not auto collect the previous room stuff. So now finally almost the last room. Let's hope we have easier to deal with in light. Some of the light are more difficult to deal with. Some of the light, like just now, that sea woman is much easier to deal with. Especially if you are ranged build. If you are using blade or fist, it can be a problem. Okay, so this one. Stone man, that's okay. It is easy. You just need to run fast. See, does not do any damage to me. And... Okay, stop running around. Okay, now let's use appeal. Maybe use a few to get our MP. Now we can try to go to deal with the boss. Who the boss is? Oh, it's Duncan. Okay, Duncan is extremely easy boss. We know it's boosted very well. It was summon and then it was shockwave like this. Now it will charge towards me. Yes. And now it will shoot out tornadoes. Three tornadoes. Yep, now we just need to dodge. Now you are charged two times. One. Now charge the second time, we just use our motion skill. Okay, now it will use this breeze. And now five. Short wave. One, two, three, four. Okay, four short wave. Okay. Now tornadoes, four or five. Three, two, three, four. Okay, four tornadoes. Good. Now it will summon again. Now we can, usually you can use this time to do a lot of damage. And he will to shockwave, dodge and charge. But I don't think you can charge towards me anymore. So yeah, Duncan, extremely easy. Almost didn't took any damage. I think that tree monster did deal more damage to me compared to Duncan. So we got one of the orange materials and three things. Pretty good. Oh, this is a small event. Someone is calling my name. Oh, look at this, a human-faced pig. Let's help him. Okay, well, it's too late. Still, that's that. Okay, now let's go to another land of spirit. So it's over here. I know the third one is over there. And then we need to farm those key locations. Because there's no boss. After all. Mm. Yeah, just to check out my skills. And I want to sell something. I'm not happy about the G5 comprehension sand, so I'm going to sell it. Ugh. I mean, we don't really need to comprehend anything in Chi, chi refining level. Actually, I will probably break through to foundation pretty soon. So, no point of keep that. And what else? Almost are nothing else. Let's eat up those skill fruits because I can. Now, what? 43 attack. I think that's good enough. Now, let's go to check out something. Here, we could get some pills. Yeah, I need to buy some more pills, because this pills is not enough. I mean, right now we just lack of pills, so we can go to the market. I think G4, I mean, this blue tier, 5-5, five, five, I think that should be good enough, because I can anyways only use 5 in the battle, right? So, this should be fine, maybe get a bit more energy ones. So, I believe I'm prepared to go to another land of spirits. Let's hope this time it has less rooms. Oh yeah, it is much less. There are two um, two rooms that I don't need to visit, so it's only four rooms. So, pretty lucky one. And uh, now I just hope the Elite is not too hard to deal with. I mean, as usual, giving this mo- Okay, this guy. Okay, that is not bad, that is not bad. Keep away from it. Now, it was a bit, like, stupid for quite some time. Just 
immediately kill it. And okay, go there, collect some spirit stones, and we'll directly go down instead of coming to the left. Not a problem with those small mobs. Ah, so many. Not a problem. Not a problem. In fact, does not even manage to use any skill. That's when you have very high attack. So yeah, high attack is extremely important in early game. I mean, in late game as well, but late game high attack is mainly coming from comprehending a good menu, move menu. But early game, uh, overwhelmed menu is more important. Yeah, you can use motion skill to dodge this, this run. Because not only do I do a lot of damage to you, but also stuns you. That can be very dangerous. So now we... I don't think I need to use that view. But I do want to wait till my motion skill cooldown is ready. Before I engage the boss. Okay, it's going as crap. That is okay. There's no real deal with it apart from you need to do enough damage and keep a bit more distance. Like, do not walk into swarm, obviously. It charges this much, so if you're running fast enough, keep enough distance, it cannot do much to you. This one, if you cannot dodge it, use motion skill. That simple. And again, use your little flower to attract their attention, which is always good. And this one needs just, you know, just need to deal more damage. And it doesn't matter anymore. High attack solves every problem. And let's come back to the town. We got enough to finish quite a few collection quests. I do like that. And we can also you know, get some more quests if we want to. Doesn't really matter. One day we'll get enough material. And we knew that the third one must be around there. Hey, hey, look at this. That's a mushroom man. Not now, not now. Let's first deal with the third. Okay, look at this thing. You see this one? That means there is a shrine there. Immortal shrine over there. Right now we are, our realm is too low, that's why we can't see it. But you can see on the map there is this little white empty space. And that is when you know that is a shrine over there. We will only see it once we reach T condensation, so realm 3. Okay, someone have dealt with the experience. So it doesn't matter. We got some new things, so we need to remember to check out the menu for guide. Anyways, yeah, again, this part, that's where the shrine is. We need to get to conversation. Now, we already got, yeah, this one, this one, this one we need, Koto, okay. So Koto, yeah, if it's Koto, then it's very easy to deal with. And it's in the west of the ginger set, which means it will be along this side. West. So maybe it's enough. I see. Yeah, maybe it's going towards the east now. No, it's just here. So, it's pretty easy guess. Let's recover some HP and MP. No, we can go to the OS code. Thank you. As usual. I mean, I think saving is a very good habit. And, okay, <laughs> this is a, probably the most lucky run I've ever seen. Just one room before the boss room. Dear God, I've never seen such a lucky run before. Let's see what is the uh, elite. Okay, it's this guy. This guy is a pain. Because it can shoot and it can always separate another of them. You need to kill it fast. And it's one of the most annoying ones for sword cultivators. But, yeah. So, Koto, as you already knew, is very easy to deal with. We know his pattern. You are shoot out one time, two times, three times. Summon. Summon, summon. 
Good. Another one. Two. Charging up. Good. Now a bell. Yes. Now I charge again. I don't think you can charge that much more. Charge again. Third charge, you're already dead. What? Okay. Yeah. So when you have much higher attack, it's just one round of thing. So now we have all the orange materials. We just need the chi orbs. And for that, we need to go to those places. You know, Arctic Field, Quicksand Research, etc. Because we already got Lightning and we got the Wood one. We just need to get Farmed Shard for all everything, uh, all the other stuff. Because again, we don't need red leveled chi. A purple shard combination one is good. It doesn't matter. So, this woman, Feng Xi, tried to talk with us. I like her hairstyle. It looks just like me. And I like her dress as well. <laughs> so, Feng Xi. Mm. Yeah, I'm on my way to farm the quicksand, the shards from there. I don't think I will show every single farming, but just maybe I will just show one of the five here. Yeah as an example. So quicksand, so different regions, those six different regions, they do have some environmental things. For example, quicksand here. If I step into some, I think quicksand part, I will get a little bit of damage, just one. It doesn't really matter much at all. So in general, you don't need to care about it. I think if you try to avoid those things, and you might end up getting hit more. So just ignore those. I know sometimes those quicksand can limit your movement. That can be a bit more dangerous. Oh god. This turtle again. I don't like this turtle. I don't like this turtle. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. How does that thing directly coming backwards towards me? Anyways. So we got 34. Usually if you are in chaos, you got double drop rate. That's why usually three times is enough. And this is another small event. We just finished farming that, and we see a human-faced bird. Well, indeed, and it's a bad even. We just lost something, but hey, it is what it is. Now coming back, we can. Well, that's a lot of missions can be finished again. You can take all of the collection missions, and oh, another one. Right. Because we have refreshed, we are can looking for this guide. Again, this guide is not good. Again, taking taking more missions. Just because I can. I like doing missions. And now I will actually deal with this mushroom man before it was killed by other cultivators. So mushroom man is also something you can do even as a G refining cultivator. So as auto realm, you easily deal with it if you have a motion skill granted. And for me, because I have the little flower to attract attention from the enemy, so it's much even more easier. Yeah, this is the digital part. Look at this attack. It deals a lot of damage. So you either use your motion skill, or if you have a if you a summon build, you use your summon to attract their attention. Then it will be no threat to you. So. Easily deal with Mushroom Man, and the reason we won't get is Herb Textbook, of course. We won't deal with all these special monsters appears on the message board so that we can farm those Artisan books, because this is the only way to improve your Artisan ship skills. Okay. Now we just continue our farming, and also doing some kind of quests. So this is a fire, fire, uh, sorry, I'm farming the fire shard, and I want to show this because the fire fox is one of the more difficult elite monsters. So first of all, wherever you move in this field, you got one damage every second, and also those little mobs can summon more dogs, can be a problem, so now this fox. So those little tracking things are difficult to deal with already, and also those on the ground those ones, you have to run fast. So you need to dodge those tracking thing, and when you summons on the ground the circle, you need to run fast. If you are feels yourself is not fast enough, run without doing attack. 
that's how it is. And even after this, I have still lost quite some HP. And but very nicely, my swan sister Gugus have came to me and provide me some pills. That's really really nice of her. I love her. I love you, Gugus and sister. And just as you can see again, Evergreen appears. So yeah. If you just wait for those monsters to appear together or six cheat, you'll wait for forever. Instead, what you can do and what you should do is like me, just farming those shards and then combine them in a, set, in a ton workshop. You need 100 shards for each chi and your combined chi will be purple rarity. But it doesn't matter because the rarity of the chi will only affect your breakthrough chance but not affect the breakthrough stat you get. Whatever you get from breakthrough is only the stat you can see from those orange materials. And if you put a mouse onto those cheats, you will see there's no stat it provides. It only provides a chance. And that's it. So, and in Chaos, you need to farm three times to gain one chi, sh enough shot for one chi. So, in total, I farm 12 times. That's much faster than waiting for a big monster to appear. Anyways, so now we have enough things. We can sell away those other shards because we don't need them anymore. And uh, should I sell this? Maybe not. But I will sell those interest items. Just keep one I need. Sunbird idol, that's good. So now let's take a rest because we want to have a pretty good state. And we won't have enough pills, enough HP pills because to go through the thunder retribution, we need pills. Now, oh, I need to first ex cultivate. I do not have enough enough experience yet. Anyways, go back to the sect, cultivate more. Now we are bottleneck. We might just break through here because Code Divine Light is pretty good destiny, and break through inside Spirit Pavilion will grant you for sure that destiny. And uh, yeah, this is a good way in Chaos to get some good destinies. Just get set destinies. So we break through inside our Spirit Pavilion, choose Foundation Heaven, directly put 69%. Nice. And uh, yeah, let's try it. By the way, so called 69 is more like 6.9. See, I told you, I told you. I knew it, this will happen, so we need to go through the thunder trail. But it's not a big deal, we are prepared for it. To be honest, the breakthrough from Qi Defining to Foundation is the only time where thunder trail can be dangerous to you. So you can see that I have enough pills, if I lose enough HP I just use my pills and there's no cooldown, there's no cooldown for pills in Thunder Trail, so don't worry at all. You can also use, you know, a motion skill, it's not a big deal. I've used quite a few blue skill pills already, like four of them. I might need to use uh, this one as well. Okay, you see? No biggie at all. Saying this, I collapse. Code Divine Light, of course. And what else are interesting? Not really. Mirage Pot may be useful if I'm trying to do a, some kind of thing, but... I mean, it is pretty good for summon build. I know I'm trying to do a summon build, but it will reduce my speed for 15%. That will be very bad for dealing with foundation level mythical beasts. You need a speed, you know, especially dealing with Lydra, etc. So if this appears a bit later, like from Foundation to Chica Notation, I might take it. Right now, no. I'm gonna take Cody One Light. Wow, those two eyes were scary. And it is me. I am the Code Divine. So yeah, that will be everything for this episode. Thank you for watching, I will see you next time.